Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to finally show you how to root the Galaxy Tab 4. I just now find out that the developer has ported uh, uh, the rootable kernel to the SMT331 which I have and the SMT335 and the already one the SMT330 I think. So it's uh, very simple. Uh, as, as you can see, I don't know whether it is Nox or something but we do get the security notice after every 3 minutes. Three or so. I have not counted yet. Let me give you an example right now. Um, there is a super SU working totally great. As you can see, I have used the root browser quite a few times. Here's the log. I have granted the permission from the EO, so it's not showing in the apps, but it's totally working. So basically you have to install any uh, custom recovery on the Galaxy Tab 4 I have installed a top recovery I will leave the uh, link in the description of the to the both of the things you will need just uh, install the recovery like the Grand Prime one as I show you how to install the ROM boot up into the recovery While booting up on the on this corner right here, it will show the show some text. Let me pull up back a little bit, and I don't know why it booted up like this. <laughs> Oops! It just fell. Welcome back. As you can see, a big failure right over there. I, my finger just slipped off. Uh, just go to the recovery. Your recovery might. Uh, uh, look a bit different. This is uh, 2.8.30 as you can see 2.8.3.0 the developer some developers have ported the 2.8.7.0 I think which is the latest one I prefer that but the DPI is uh, very awkward as you can see I have downloaded the kernel over here first swipe to install that as you can see go back also install the super SU beta OG works perfectly fine with this uh, 2.4 snox and 5.1.1 same for the, it will give an error message but it works totally fine reboot the system no need to uh, wipe the cache but you should if you have not done it frequently I have just rooted and did it and I want to make this uh, video fast it takes uh, 15 to 10 minutes to uh, load the apps after the after wiping the cache As you can see, it will show Android upgrading. Wait a second. Okay, there we go. The Super SU app has installed. I have installed uh, some uh, build prop tricks too. Comment down below if uh, you want to include me that too in the description, and I will add that. Cause the notification panel lag has gone totally with this. Let me focus. It's too bright. Wait a minute. They should do as you can see the super SU as I came up it will take a second and will show no apps configured you can directly uh, press your grand if you don't want if you have a lag and you miss the 10 second uh, what option you can enable pro 2 but uh, I will suggest to support the developer as you can see I was using the X mode in the root browser a lot to add that uh, memory uh, build prop takes comment down below if you want to it uh, really helped me in the youtube video fetching acceleration and the notification panel lag is gone smooth lag grand prime and uh, s4 let's try an app let us second as you can see i am uh, installing the root checker app same developer as the root browser i guess the jeremy apps Yes, the road browser is there. Wow, he's created the lollipop land. I didn't know that. Same chain fire logo over there. But different authors, as you can see. It's installing 70 seconds, 50 seconds. My internet speed is only 64 gigabits. It's very slow. Mm. Mm. 
as you can see the app has been installed let's check it Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 8.0 is rooted 5.1.1 System management app super issue and there you get it Thanks for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos like this Tips and tricks videos too comment down below if you want anything in the next video Thanks for watching